Hello YouTube, it's Patch and for today, I have decided to create a video about me updating the series of events of my life in 2018. So before the 2018 ends, which is today, I am going to you know, talk about the big moments of my 2018. So I hope you guys like it. First moment, first big moment of my life in 2018 is I went to Dumaguete City for an SPC. For, so for those of you who haven't, who didn't know or who don't know about NSPC, it's, it actually stands for National Schools Press Conference. It's about journalism, it's about, it's a, it's a contest about, you know, journalism and writing and my category happens to be editorial editorial writing it was super super fun like it's one of like the biggest moments of my life it changed me so hard like it changed me like to the core i've learned a lot like a lot of things like throughout the training and throughout the experience like from the spc rspc the nspc it Super great. So for those of you who didn't know the process of that, it's actually like a journalism contest. So before you could get to a National Schools Press Conference, you have to, you know, win. It's actually a contest. You have to win from the Division Schools Press Conference and then um, win again. So RSPC, which is Re Regional Schools Press Conference, and then you represent your region and compete with other regions in National Schools Press Conference. So that's it. And I had so much fun. Like, it was my first time to go to Dumaguete City and I immediately fell in love with the city. I mean, it's just so peaceful. Love it, and I had coffee at Coffee Love. You should check it out. But in NS during the NSPC, like I was super stressed. Like when it was like just the training, it was just I was super stressed out because I actually just I won only one category. It's editorial writing, and then at National Schools Press Conference the editorial writers has to compete in another category which is column writing my gosh so I was just oh. so I've been training for months maybe like two months two months and then heavy training for one week straight and in the people TV so oh my gosh it was just super stressful and I had a stomach ache at that time. But then right after the contest, it was super fun. Like I had a lot of things that I've learned in writing. Like it really helped me. Like the first one is I forgot his name, but he's actually, I'm so sorry. I forgot his name, but he's actually a writer, a columnist. He's actually a writer from, I think he's actually a professor from University of Santo Tomas. And he said, that um, it's actually not good for you as a writer to use words that are hard for your readers to understand because if we constantly write things that um, if we constantly use words that aren't really and that can't really um, grasp easily like if you use hard words then um, mananatili tayong nerds. Uh, we will, tayo-tayo lang din yung nagkakaintindihan. So, it's just sad. And in the Philippines, in the Philippines, like, there are a lot of writers, but very, very little readers. So, I hope you guys, you know, start reading our stuff. And so, he advised to us that if we use a lot of hard words, then readers wouldn't really appreciate or would really like to read our works so if you really want for an inclusive change we have to change our ways too 
So, the second thing I've learned is that, unfortunately, I didn't win in an SPC, but it's okay. Like, there's this coach that, um, that said, I forgot his name, but <laughs> I always forgot names. But oh, trivia. One trivia, I'm bad at names. Like, I'm super, super, super bad at names. But I... I really recognize faces, but I just can't, you know, remember names. I don't know why. There's something wrong with me. I don't know. Anyways, and he said this, some kind of like a quote. He said, Dalawa lang yan eh. It's either manalo ka or matuto ka. And oh my god, like when he said that, I just said, I learned a lot. And so, therefore, I won. So, and also, the, the experience are just super good. I mean... I'm not gonna lie, I love medals so much. Like, it's actually like a concrete evidence that, you know, you... It's a concrete evidence of your hard work. So, it's just sad. But I realized that it's not... Yeah, it's actually cliche and all that. But then, like, it really happened to me. So, I finally inculcated the phrase na... It's not about the destination, it's about the journey. So it's not really about the medal that you will get after the competition. It's about the, the journey, like the things you've learned, the things the things you've learned and the stuff that you sacrificed, your hard work, the sweat, the tears, and the blood that you shed. So and the species was so fun. So for those of you who are like aspiring writers and aspiring journalists so i hope you guys do well this year's nsbc i support you guys next big moment of my life will be yums day so for those of you who have been, who didn't know that i'm from yums yums stands for humanities and social sciences track in senior high so we had this amazing yums day and Wait. in St. Columan College. So, I had my senior high in St. Columan College and we had this very, 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 very first Yum's Day. And it was just super, super memorable. I just, I just can't. If only I could like turn back time and uh, it was just super good. We had super great time. Like, the first part of the day, we had we had a lecture of our very, 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 very brilliant professor, Mr. Lomoxo. If you were watching, shout out to you because you're so... And also, shout out to our youth president, Christine Joy Macapas, my best friend. She's really good. She really organized it well. And also, to the vice president, Andrew James in Fiesto. You did great. And also, to the seniors, youths seniors we actually call ourselves Amsterdam I'm not sure how to really um how to really pronounce yums is it yums or hums but for us in St. Columban we somehow had an agreement or an understanding that we will call it yums because it's humanities and social sciences and you don't read humanities as humanities so that's our logic. I don't know about I don't know about anything. Anyways, um Sir Lumoxa had his had his talk about Oh I forgot about Pulse, I think. Oh my god, I can't believe I forgot it. Uh I think it's about Oh, I think it's about awareness of society. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm forgetting it. But he was like talking about Berlin Wall and all those stuff. Oh, I can't believe I'm forgetting it. Oh, anyways, he wa he had this talk about that, about that amazing thing, and then we had this time kind of like a conference, and like, oh my god, the Yums babies, like, <laughs> they were so good, they were so cooperative, and I just love them so much, shout out to you guys, anyways. So they have asked Mr. Lomox about all the questions that they wanted to ask, and after that, we had the Humanista, eh, Talentadong Humanista have that like it's like a Filipinas got talent or like America's got talent so oh, we had that and it's just so cool and super fun and oh, like they we actually 
showcased a lot of talents. Like for those of you who didn't know, I'm not saying that, you know, I'm being biased, but hey, facts, it's a fact, so. And then after that, we have like a candle lighting and oath taking about, you know, being like a humanitarian advocate for the rest of our lives, not just in senior high, but after we, you know, we go through our paths and all this stuff, so. from high school it was super fun like it's like the ceremony and all the stuff and I didn't cry because I already cried so I didn't want to cry it was super good super nostalgic and <sighs> the next amazing and big moment of my life is like last June I finally 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 went to college It was super fun. Um, now I'm stud- I'm currently studying at Siliman University, studying l- literature, Bachelor of Arts in Literature. So, Ooh, it was super fun. It was actually far away from my hometown, so we had a lot. We had a quite adventure, you know, going there. It was super hard, but then it's okay. The next big moment of my life. Oh, my first spoken word poetry performance in college in Siliman. I actually performed a spoken word poetry about mental health and it's it's actually in Filipino. It's it's entitled Ang Tagapayo. funniest thing is we were in VIP and when they started performing you know when they started performing all of the people went like the in the front of the stage and they were like doing this with their cap and I'm just for those of you who don't know I'm super super small and I'm, super, I'm not that tall I'm super small so I can't really see them properly and so I, j- I just decided to like watch through their phone because apparently it's it's clearer than my own eyes so it's, that's just sad but then when they oh my gosh when they performed Mundo like my friend Steph and Yoshi they actually carry like lifted me so that I can watch it and they were like shout out to you guys because you are such good guys Thank you very much. Next thing. Oh my gosh. I started my channel. I finally started my YouTube channel. So I've been. I've been. um, Wanted to. You know. Start my own channel. Create my own YouTube channel. And now I finally started. Right. I I finally started. um, This. This platform. And so. Hopefully, I constantly upload stuffs. Hopefully. And the last big moment of my life, for me, it's a big moment. Um, now I'm rewriting, I'm finally, I'm finally rewriting my book. And hopefully, I could constantly update it. I could, hopefully, in 2019, I could finish my book. But the thing, but the thing is that I remembered why. I started in the first place. And 
now we go to the three things that the top three things I learned this year. So the first one is be grateful. That's like the first thing, but because a lot of blessings came in 2018, and I just thank you so much. So be grateful, learn how to be contented with things in life and you know be thankful of what you have and you know um, do not take it for granted like a lot of people wanted to be in your shoes so always be grateful keep your feet on the ground and never forget that you never forget about the worth of the things you have right now because you can never know what will happen in the future maybe it will be gone from you so just be grateful and be thankful and be contented with the things that you have right now and the next thing that I learned is to never forget who you really are like college is super hard like I really thought that college would be super fun and all that stuff but then it's not so that's just sad. because you have like a lot of problems like so financial problems health problems you can you can't sleep because you have a lot of things to do and studies acads financial like homesickness like just all like wrapped up into one it's just sad so you know and these problems would like make you doubt yourself like should I continue? Should I, you know, keep doing this? And that's just sad. Like, the one thing I also learned in this portion is that never doubt yourself. Don't join the rest of the world. Like, of course, there are, there are people who really want you to, you know, to fail because one fact, they wanted you to do good but not better never better than them so so I just uh, that's the thing that I learned never doubt yourself don't join the rest of the world because there are there are some people who would love to see you fail and so make them like an inspiration motivate you to do good to do better and so yeah and also in 2018 I moved to Dumaguete because of the because of college and just because you're in a new environment never change yourself like yeah there are a lot of changes like, but never forget who you really are inside like your core you know like whenever you go to places never forget who you really are never forget never be ashamed of where you came from so always be proud of where you came them what you've got honey what you've got. and the last top thing that I learned is don't just exist live your life because like I've been through a lot this year like yeah I've, yeah I've, I had a lot of mental breakdowns but then I'm still here so you know do not let problems you know, there's just Challenges that makes you be better and makes you, you know, meet the best version of yourself. So, you know, um, do not let problems get into you, get into your nerves. You know, just you can do it. Just fight it. You know. So what I mean is, don't just exist. Don't just, you know, wake up in the morning, do nothing. Just do productive things. And do the thing that you really love the most. And for me, the thing that I really love the most is writing. And the saddest thing is, for months, I haven't written anything. Because I doubted myself that, oh, maybe writing is not for me. Oh, maybe that's... Those, those voices in my head, like... It really got me, and 
but now I'm trying to like overcome those overcome my monsters like I, I wouldn't let my demons you know stop me from living my life so you know continue doing you continue doing what you love to do and there's just you know problems they come and go but you still here fight fighting Aja. and that's it for this video i hope you guys like it i hope you guys love my update somehow update vlog update video about my life